Okay, let's talk about factoring out the GCF or the greatest common factor. Uh, so before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. So, um, you know, I like to put together these math videos just to kind of help you out. I've been on YouTube for many, many years, so hopefully you consider subscribing. But if you really want to learn from me, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to my math program in the description of this video. But um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into uh, this topic of factoring out the GCF. Okay, so this is the greatest common factor and the topic here is factor um, or factoring. Now, factoring is a huge topic in algebra, extremely important, okay? Um, if you do not know how to factor, all right, you will not be able to do um, a good portion of algebra. Basically, you're gonna be able to kind of go, let's just kind of think of this as chapters in an algebra course. You'll go up to here, and as soon as factoring is introduced, and if you don't know how to factor, you will not be able to do uh, pretty much the rest of the course. You have to learn how to factor. Now, with that being said, it is typically a topic um, factoring that students kind of, uh, a lot of students, not all students, but a lot of students kind of struggle with. Um, and, and a lot of reasons why students struggle with factoring is because they didn't really get the fundamentals down of uh, like the distributive property and another thing. So again, you know, when you're studying mathematics, pre-algebra, algebra, algebra it doesn't make a difference. Uh, everything counts. There's no such thing as like, hey, I'm going to learn this topic, uh, take the test, and then I'll, I'll forget about it. Uh, and then just move on to the next topic and hope that I got a fresh start. No, math is cumulative, okay? Everything uh, counts, okay? And you'll be using stuff you don't know, right? When you're learning it, you're like, am I gonna use this again? I can just tell you right now, everything you learn in math, as you continue to learn math, you're going to be pretty much learning it in the future, okay? And if you didn't learn the current topic, well, it's going to come out later as a weakness, all right? So, in this topic of factoring, okay, uh, the first thing you want to know how to do is factor out the greatest common factor. So here we have some sort of polynomial, some sort of quadratic uh, trinomial is a kind of a way to describe it. And the question might be, hey, is to factor this thing right here. Okay, so that would be uh, one of the things you know, you'll need to know how to do, right? So when we talk about the concept, uh, topic of factoring, there is a lot of different factoring techniques, okay? Uh, things like this, uh, x squared minus nine, okay? So how do I factor this out? Where well, there's no GCF, there's no greatest common factor here. So you have to know various rules, okay? Like x plus three times x minus three. This is what we call the difference of two squares. Okay, so there's all types of other rules that don't involve the greatest common factoring, greatest common factor, excuse me, but the number one thing you do anytime you're faced with a factoring situation all the time is you look to factor out the greatest common factor. It is your first starting point of any factoring problem. Okay, so what I wanted to do is just highlight some of the basic concepts of um, uh, what the greatest common factor is and how we factor it out. So we'll use this real basic example. Of course, I can make it you know, make more challenging examples, but it's not the point, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to emphasize the importance of factoring and that factoring out the greatest common factor is your, your starting point for all factoring problems. Okay, now sometimes you won't be able, there is no greatest common factor. It doesn't make a difference. You're always on the lookout for the greatest common factor and then we want to factor them out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to our little starter problem. So let's say, I have this problem here, 4x squared plus 8x plus 10. And the question is, it could, become at, it could come at you in a couple of different ways. I could say factor this, uh, factor this polynomial or factor the expression, okay? Uh, or, or factor the quadratic trinomial. Lots of different ways to kind of technically describe this. Okay, or I could give you explicit directions to say factor the greatest common factor out of this trinomial, okay? So again, when you're looking at a problem like this, if I don't tell you anything other than, hey, factor this thing, 
the first thing you're going to be thinking to yourself is GCF. GCF. Is there GCF? And there is, if there is a GCF, we want to factor it out. Okay. All right. So let's get back to this problem. And this particular problem obviously has a greatest common factor. Now, what is the greatest common factor? Well, we have to look at the coefficient of the number, okay, that in front of these variable terms and this number by itself. We have to look at all of these um, individually, okay? We have to look at this 4, this 8, and this 10. And if we factor each of these guys, right, and we know that 4 is 2 times 2, and then we have 8, we know is 2 times 4, and we have 10, I can factor that as 2 times 5. So we're looking for the greatest common factor. So do the, all these terms here have anything in common, any factors? Well, these little numbers, when we take 4, and we know 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2, these are factors of 4, okay? So just so we know that, right? 2 and 4 are factors of 8, and 2 and 5 are factors of 10. So uh, we want to first of all say, hey, are there any common factors? Oh yeah, look, they all have a 2 in common. Okay, so we do have a common factor. It is 2. And are the, is that the greatest common factor? Because there are uh, numbers that can have more than just one factor um, uh, in common. Okay, so here we're like, yes, 2 is the greatest of all these common factors. So 2 is the greatest common factor. Okay, so now that we know what the greatest common factor is, you can kind of think of each one of these terms as I, how I just wrote it, as 4 is two, uh, 2 times 2, 8 is 2 times 4, and 10 is 2 times 5. So the greatest common factor is 2. So I'm going to write that here, and then I'm going to put parentheses. So anytime you have a greatest common factor okay, in a particular expression, you're always going to factor it like so. It's going to be your GCF, whatever that is, and then it's going to be parentheses, okay? Then whatever remains is going to be inside, and this is going to be your answer, okay? So it'll be the GCF, parentheses, then there's going to be some other stuff, and parentheses, okay? So knowing that format, I have my greatest common factor is 2, so I'm going to write that on the outside, and I'm going to write my parentheses, all right? So here, this is my GCF, all right? Greatest common factor, parentheses, now, this is where students get confused. Like, what's remaining, okay? Well, once I take out the GCF, all right, this is 2, what's going to remain on the inside is going to be 2x squared, okay? Here, it's going to be 4x, and then here, it's just going to be 5, all right? And the number one way uh, to check to see if you factor correctly with the greatest common factor, I'm going to erase this here, is to just distribute this 2, or whatever the greatest common factor is, back into the problem. So if I multiply back in, okay, here using a distributor property, I have 2 times 2x squared, that gives me 4x squared, plus 2 times 4x gives me 8x, plus 2 times 5 gives me 10. There, are, there is the answer, and that is the original expression that I wanted to factor. Okay, so here is my original trinomial, and this is the equivalent problem. All right, this, let's just make sure we understand, this thing is equal to this expression. All right, 2x squared plus 4x plus 5. All right, so that's the whole main idea. This is the expression not being factored, and this is the expression factored. I'm just telling you right now as a main, main point, okay, in algebra, in mathematics, we always are going to want to factor expressions. So we have an expression like this, we want to factor it out and simplify it, okay? Well, one of the primary ways, the number one thing that we're going to be looking to do right off the bat is to factor out those greatest common factors. All right, so hopefully this cleared up some confusion maybe that you had. Um, again, this is a real basic, simple problem. Um, it gets much more interesting when we're dealing with fractions and positive, neg negative numbers, et cetera. But before you handle those problems, you know, first of all, just make sure you can handle the, the basics and understand the concepts of, of 
uh, factoring out the greatest common factor. Okay, so if you need more help uh, with this, uh, certainly recommend uh, checking out more of my uh, videos on, on my YouTube channel, but also I do complete full instruction of this in my math program. Again, I'm going to leave a link to my courses in the description of this video. Uh, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your algebra endeavors. Thank you for your time and have a great day.